Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on what is a CAPTCHA. Now, CAPTCHA it sounds like a foreign word or maybe a rap term, but what it really is is a type of test, a challenge response test. And the purpose for it is to be certain that a form or application at a website was filled up by a human and not by another computer. In the earlier days of the internet, it was very easy for computers to come in and fill out forms and create accounts at places like Hotmail. And that always for good purposes like spammers. So the CAPTCHA concept was created to try to discern that a human filled out the information. You see here are some early examples of CAPTCHAs. Other ones have lines going through them. All of these things are attempts to make it harder for a machine to recognize it. I'm not certain about you, but I often have trouble recognizing it. The term CAPTCHA, for your information, stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to tell computers and humans apart. CAPTCHAs have gotten more and more evolved. A couple real life examples. Here's one on Yahoo. Here's one on Verizon. They vary. Sometimes they can be a little frustrating, but that is what a CAPTCHA is. It's a way to try to ensure that you are a human being and not some computer filling out a form, creating an account. And that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.